glad you could join us today. We have a classic SEC rivalry on our hands. These two schools are ready to go. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Arkansas's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the coach. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From their own 22-yard line, second down. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it, he's in space. And they make the stop right around the 40. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. He's going to try and scramble. It's on the ground. And the defense picks it up. Tackle at the 47-yard line. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who crowded for his side. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Brought down at the 31. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. From the 31-yard line, first down. He takes it right side for a good game. That'll make it second and four. down and they need to get it to the 21. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. A nice looking play that time. Well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. At the 18. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 18 yard line. Tackle made around the nine yard line. Finds his receiver, touchdown. 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 47-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, seven nothing. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Mississippi State's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. The special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 29-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Trying to throw a little screen, interception. To the 20. And he hits him hard at the 11 yard line. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. It's first and 10. Ball on the 11. Mississippi State is up seven. Fires incomplete. There's a strike complete. He's down. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the five-yard line. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Mississippi State is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulldogs really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. If they could play sound football... Goes right, picked off! The defense here comes up with a huge interception. They've already got the lead, and it looked like this offense was trying to get back in the game, but that was a big turnover. From the 39-yard line, first down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They fall on it. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Now, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. 
After review of the play, the ruling, the ruling on the field, field is reversed. reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 35. Marks takes it left. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Got it and brought down immediately. Heath picks up about five yards on that hookup. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there, and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. First and 10, ball on the 13-yard line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he's tackled at the nine-yard line. That makes it second and six. Two times, two times. Nice play fake. Off the fake. Touchdown! How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. And he converts the extra point. Ruiz, ready to kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Mississippi State's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they can shut this offense out. Big opening. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. Three down, three down. Watch one, watch one. My 14. Throwing right. And it's intercepted by the freshman cornerback. Oh, 
boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. Up the middle for a nice game. That brings him second and five. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Let's go! Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's taken down around the 50-yard line. Number nine with the tackle at the 50-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Intense pressure on the quarterback that time. Well, he made a bad throw, and he's very lucky to keep possession. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 50. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. I think I can count on one hand. The last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed in space? These guys got a chance to put up a shutout. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 31. Nice run, and he's brought down. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. My 14, my 14. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Played one quarter. Mississippi State leads it 17-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and down he goes at the 46-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Everybody up close, it looks like they're coming after this kick. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He gets to about the 31-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Oh 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Nice run up the middle. That's a deep seven on the head. That'll bring up second and three. I'm here all day. 30 was the mic. And they make the stop at the 36. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 36 yard line. Tackle at the 48. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. That makes it first and 10. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Second down and 11. Ball on the 47-yard line. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. That was a great route by the receiver. It started out looking like a streak, but in reality, it was going to be a corner route the whole time. Nice job of beating the zone coverage and getting the first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. Tenth play of the drive. Johnson takes it up the middle. Tackle made at the 18. That's a team on the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 18. Caught, and he's hit immediately. This is the 12th play of this drive. Catches it, and that's all. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's OK to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play. Well, a familiar situation for the offense is they try to convert another third down. They've converted three already. What a play, and that is first and goal. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And he adds the extra point. Mississippi State is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. 
And for Jefferson, it's been one of those days he'd like to forget. I, I think the reason he's struggling is because of the defense and the way the defense is mixing up their coverages. Let, let's give a lot of credit here to the defensive coordinator and the pressure that this defense has been able to apply on him because they have really forced the mistakes that he's made. Well, one thing he's got going for him is this crowd. They're still solidly behind him to make a strong showing the rest of the way against their rivals. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. A seven-yard pickup on the screenplay. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start. Offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 32. Let's go! Round 50! Run! Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From the 44-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. 14 the mic. 14 the mic. Uh -huh. Blue 45. Blue 45. Uh -huh. Steps out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Just a yard there. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. down around the 41 yard line that's a gain of two on the play that makes it third and seven and so it's another third down upcoming here watch the screen by 14 by 14 ready 395 hand off and he won't make it Griffin is back to receive. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second it's second down line. now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Slings it. I think the big thing for a defense when they face a screen is chasing it from the inside out, which means the defensive linemen are the key to slowing down a really well-executed screen pass. Because if you think about it, the offensive linemen are getting downfield blocking against the linebackers and the safeties. The defensive linemen have got to be able to recognize screen and then have the quickness to be able to chase the running back down from behind before he gets his momentum going and can outrun. They're about four yards away here on second down. Just 
throws this one away. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Around the 40 yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40 yard line. And he's taken down at the 30. It's the ninth play of the drive. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. 31's the mic. Sam! Fires out quickly to the tailback. There's a very impressive open field tackle. From the 28 yard line. First down. He makes it to the 25-yard line. So they get about three on the draw. It's the 11th play of the drive. Mississippi State's going to take their first time out of the half. And he's tackled right away. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. From the 17-yard line, first down. Throws in the middle, and he'll bring him down at about the 13. Caught end zone for the touchdown. That's TD pass number three. This quarterback is going to continue to tear him up until they get some pressure on him. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Razorbacks struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game. And sometimes, you know, Herbie, it's almost like a, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line. Get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hands somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play. One touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line from their own 37-yard line. It's first down. Quick strike, and he drops it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And a quick throw. 
He's knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 49. Zips it to the back. Tackle at the 39. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. We've reached halftime, folks. But stick with us, because you just never know, do you? 31 to nothing, Mississippi State. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show, presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'd like to put this more delicately if I could, but if this were a horse, they would put it out of its misery. This game Ouch. is this game is ugly and, uh, and completely non-competitive. No, one of these teams is not like the other. I mean, one's really good and one's not, and I don't know how to sugarcoat it anymore. Maybe, uh, maybe we could say that the second half will be better, but what you've seen so far you're probably going to get a lot more because I don't see any advantages or anything to take advantage of. One team's just superior in talent, superior in coaching, superior really in every single facet of the ball game. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Really a lopsided ball game as we're just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. Mississippi State up by a bunch. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 44. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. That makes it first and 10. down immediately from the 28 yard line second down that makes it second and six let's go red 85 red 85 he makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line Pulls in the pass and steps out. Heath gains about five yards on the play. Man, that's another first down on this drive. They've looked really good since they came out on the field. From the 21-yard line, first down. Gets out to around the nine. That's good for the 12 yards. That makes it first and goal. 
Mississippi State up by a big margin. There's a strike complete, and he's hit immediately. From the three-yard line, it's second down. They get in, touchdown. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get in there for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Fires it out. There he goes! Brought down right around the 34. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. There's a strike complete and he's down. Just gets rid of it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. He's hit and taken down. Great touch by the quarterback. Floating that one right into his hands. That takes some skill. Makes it to the 18-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 18. Fight 14. Fight 14. Ready? Black 90. Black on. Out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Smith gets the call again. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. He scrambles. They bring him down. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Mississippi State in control. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. A good tackling safety is key for any defense, and if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. From their own 11-yard line, second down. There he goes. 
He gets out to about the 21 yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That'll bring up third and four. Hey, we gotta get the stop here, D. 30 wins the fight. Marks on the run, and they'll get him in the backfield. Day is waiting for the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he can't hang on to the ball. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. He's tackled at the 42. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up third and two. Right, 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 right. Three down, three down. 14's the mic. 14's the mic. Here we go. Easy, 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 easy. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. First and ten. Ball on the 37. Slings it. He's taken down at the 28. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. No game. That makes it second and ten. From the 27-yard line, second down. Three down, three down. Fourteen's the mic. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That's a loss of six yards. That'll bring up third and long. Here's the eighth play of the series. Pressure coming. Strike to his receiver, no good. It's fourth down, so the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. Phillips, ready to kick. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. 
Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Mississippi State looking to add to this big lead here. And he's taken down around the 28-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 28. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Burks will be the return man. down at the 38 yard line. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Now he's scrambling and down he goes at the 41 yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 41. Three down, three down. 14 to Mike. Run it! Green, 95! Green, 95! And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. and this one's all but over. 38-3, Mississippi State. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Well, that was a big stop here early in the fourth quarter. They needed some of that earlier because this game is still out of hand. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Defense and their short yardage package. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Looking for the corner. Very good tackle in space. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. for a nice game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Scrambling around. He's at the 20, and they make the stop at the 17. 
We're at play number nine of this current drive. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. The 10, the 5, tackle made at the 4-yard line. First and goal from the 3. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Sure, they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. The quarterback just made that one look pretty simple. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. And he hits the PAT. Arkansas is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle made at the 36. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Mississippi State looking to build on this commanding lead here. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Gives it right side. He's tackled right around the 50. Quick pass, and they push him out around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They come out in a five-wide set. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Stop short. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. Mike 14. Mike 14. Let's go. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Now he tries to buy some time. He's to the 40. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Got 
got it complete and he's out of bounds. Receiver. And he's tackled at the 42 yard line. Second and seven. Ball on the 42 yard line. Throws it. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. From the 23 yard line. First down. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. Mike 14. Mike 14. Ready. Run. He's out of bounds right around the 20. And this play is number eight on the drive. Drop him for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Puts on a move. Touchdown. You got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. He makes the PAT. At the 40 yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. They'll get him for a loss. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. From the 44-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kick is up, 
And he nails the long field goal. Ruiz has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Burke's day is something he's going to want to forget as soon as possible, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, I'm really surprised at what we saw today. I mean, you're talking about one of the top players in all of college football completely shut down. The young man just didn't have it all day today. A little over a minute in the game. Quick pass intercepted. And he's taken down around the 37-yard line. That gives the defense their fourth pick of the day. This defense is four playmakers. They force the quarterback to make tough throws that he doesn't want to make, and that usually adds up to turnovers. First and ten. Ball on the 37. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Arkansas, staff, and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.